11 years and $5 billion in the making. Ethiopians are finally able to switch on electricity produced by their own giant dam. A welcome distraction for Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed at war with rebel Tigrayan forces in the north. The 145-metre-high dam on the Nile River's main tributary, the Blue Nile, is designed to hold 74 billion cubic metres of water. But Africa's largest hydroelectric power project is controversial, and it's fiercely opposed by Ethiopia's neighbours. The downstream countries, the brothers, the people of Egypt and Sudan, the water will flow, and the world must know that the dam will not affect them. All that was said about Ethiopia seeking to prevent the flow of water is untrue, and we will not allow the people to starve or thirst. We seek integration between the three countries and a real partnership. Both Egypt and Sudan fear the damming of the Blue Nile will cause severe water shortages for them. Egypt responded on Sunday, saying Ethiopia is persisting in its violations of a declaration signed in 2015. Leaders in Cairo say the dam is an existential threat to the 106 million Egyptians who are almost entirely reliant on the Nile River for irrigation and drinking water. While Sudan first welcomed the dam project, it later voiced similar concerns about its threat to national security. Over the years, talks sponsored by the African Union failed and construction still went ahead. The more that uh, we see uh, events like uh, the one that happened today begin uh, uh, to, uh, to emerge, the more it becomes dimmer and dimmer that we can actually sit as friends and as fellow Africans and resolve this as a purely African problem. Ethiopia says the hydropower generation is essential to economic development in Africa's second most populous country. Both Egypt and Sudan are still pushing for a legally binding deal on both the filling of the giant reservoir and its operation. Sarah Khairat, Al Jazeera.